All right. <clears throat> what I'd like to show you today is a cool dodecahedron construction using a uh, tetrahedron-like uh, subunit. You're going to start off with uh, four two-layer hexagons. I filled in the center with a single ball to make it a complete hexagon. <clears throat> then you're going to fold it over. Now this may be a subunit you guys have come up with before, but where the holes are here, you're going to press in and you go to each hole and do the same thing. And what that does is it really firms up the subunit. And this subunit by itself can be used to make uh, a dodecahedron, it can be used to make some nice cubes. It's pretty cool in itself, but I'm going to add to this. <clears throat> What I'm going to add is on the indented side here, I'm going to take a 2x3 trihexagon and put on that side. All right, so the, there you have the subunit I'm going to work with to build to the, the base dodecahedron. Now I've got five already built here, and I'm going to take these and put together on the uh, trihexagon sides. That's one side. So as uh, not to pain you with watching me construct the entire thing, I have uh, already done most of it here and I'm going to add this piece to the very top. Alright, and that uh, unit in itself is pretty cool, but I'm going to add on to this. What I want to do is extend each of the vertices by one trihexagon. And in this case, I'm actually using the blue neo balls. Flip it over here. blue so I had to kind of mix them together oops well shoot get the polarity right here and I'm okay And you may ask yourself, well, why is he extending one side? Well, the color in itself uh, gives a nice enhancement, but I want to bridge between these 
So I'm going to pull in some of the uh, green Neo balls. I'm going to take six and I'm going to bridge just like that. And I'm going to come back in here on the underside and when those two come together they make a nice bridge. So I'm not going to do every one of them but I'm going to do one side to show you what it looks like. I guess I better hurry up here before I run out of uh, oops, time on my camera. Oops, oh no, there we go, corrected that. One more left. And another six balls. And we've got one done. So, as you can see, the bridging looks very pretty, especially with the different colors as accents. Uh, very fun construction. A lot uh, of variation uh, using colors. You can extend these vertices out farther if you wanted to. You can come back in and in the center here maybe put a, uh, a pentagon, a pentagonal star. Uh, because of the openings, some lighting from, beha from behind and you can get some very nice uh, reflections. So give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Again, the majority of these are Zen magnets. The colored ones are Neo balls that they hopefully will be selling very soon. So, I hope you like it. Have a good day.